G'day guys, Bailey here from Gold Coast Boating Center. Today we're just gonna have a quick look at one of our customer 565 Formosa Center consoles that we've just fitted up. He's, he's packaged up with some great options on there. Let's go have a quick jump onto it now. All right, starting at the powerhouse, we have got the brand new F150XC model on this one, which is max horsepower for the 565 Center console. Now with this new model, they've updated the cowling to look very similar to their V6 series from the Yamaha. So the 225, 250, 300 cowling, they've incorporated some nice sleek new lines running into there and it just looks like an absolute predator. We've also got um, the elimination of the old style hydraulic steering uh, ram arm that used to come out the front. It's all now built into the actual bracket of the motor itself. So this allows for higher trimming of the motor out the water also less cables and less mess out the back of the boat. There's far less um, yeah, debris and stuff running in front. Nice and t um, tidy setup. And that's all on the new 150, 175 and 200 range from Yamaha. It's a beautiful looking motor. See on the back, max horsepower. We definitely got up and boogied on this one. We just did a little test. We got up to about 70 Ks on the water there. Uh, also, we got some CDIC padding on the back of that side and the single walkthrough door on this side too. So you can option up if you do want another door, you can do that as well. This customer's opted in for the rear folding lounge for just some more passenger room in the back, which you find sometimes limited on center consoles. So it's good to just make use of the rear transmitter, rear folding lounge. And while we're talking about lounges, I'll show you the other one which you can get at the front of the console. So this is the front folding lounge. So again, if you do want a couple more seats, Nice little storage area, that folds away nicely, tucks away, and you don't see it whatsoever. It looks all just part of the console itself. So rear folding lounge. Um, this customer's also got the uh, tackle box in the back corner there. So just more storage for lures, uh, sinkers, whatever you want. So folding up the lounge, we now have access to the underfloor kill tank. And this customer has actually got the Prodec aluminum floor beneath this carpet. So we've got the scupper systems running through the back on either side there. So if you did take a wild wave over the front, the majority of the water is gonna be drained out through the back of the boat into the ocean. It doesn't go into the bilge area at all. So this is an aluminum floor. And with that, you have the welded kill tank inside here. So capped off at the moment, you can undo that. That'll drain into the ocean or fill up with seawater as well, depending how you wanna run it. So fully welded, not removable on that one. You can get the removable one on the, um, the plywood floor from Formosa as well. Customs got a saltwater deck wash here, fuel tank there. Let's move up into the console area now. This customer's opted in for two Garmin 95 SV Echo Maps. So they're linked together. You can have charts on one, sonar on the other. This also got your side scan, down scan um, imaging on there. 6 by 8 land gauges from Yamaha 2, the nickel control box, key switch panel, a few extra bits and pieces like USB chargers, gang switch panel and all that. Storage below the console here, and then we've put the Ming Coda batteries just below there too for the setup, which we'll have a look at in a second. We've also got storage under the swing back seat, more storage under there. We've got the radio box at the top here, which we've filled in with a Fusion RO70 and a GME GX700 VHF radio. Lights off the back, either side. More rod holders across the top too. This is a folding console. So if you are struggling for height at home or a garage, you can undo those bolts there and it does fold forward. Moving to the bow now. So nice big casting deck at the front here. Fit a couple guys up in here casting. We've also got the Minkota Trover. 72 inch, 80 pound electric motor. And that's wired by Anderson plug back to the batteries underneath the console there. Another little storage spot up in the front area here. Let's open that up. And again, just another great area for towels, food, um, or other equipment which you need to tuck away. Nice deep anchor well. You can put a, um, a sab winch, electric anchor winch if you wish. And nice bow rails which run across there as well. Got the Water rod holders from for most of there, one there, one there. A couple more rod holders on the back as well. So a great, uh, great setup from this customer and packaged beautifully with the Yamaha F150 four-stroke for maximum power, best fuel efficiency. 
and of course that Yamaha reliability which just keeps on going and going and going. So great little setup in the 565 Formosa Center console. If you'd like to know any more information about Formosa Center consoles or any other center consoles in particular we do at Gold Coast Boating Center, give me a call. My name is Bailey. You can visit our website as well at gcbc.boats.